Question number three. Figure three A shows a, a horizontal tube containing air trapped by a mercury thread of length five centimeter. The length of the enclosed air column is 7.5. The atmospheric pressure is 76 centimeter uh, of mercury. So we have figure A. Uh, we have figure B. The tube is then vertically uh, with its mouth facing down as shown in figure 3b. Determine uh, the length L of the liquid. So we are supposed to find L here. So what we do to be able to do that is that we say pressure in 1 multiplied by pressure in volume in 1 is the same as pressure in figure 2 multiplied by the volume. So we say the first one we have uh, 76 uh, milligrams of mercury that is 76 you multiply by the length which is 7.5 uh, is equals to now the height here because we have uh, the mercury is occupying 5 cent seven, uh, centimeter you say it is 75 that is uh, not 75 but 76 76 minus 5 and you multiply by the L so which is the length here so if you make L the subject L is equals to uh, 76 multiply by 7.5 and you divide by 71 that is 76 uh, minus 5 and that is, is equals to uh, when you use your calculator you should be able to get uh, 8.03 centimeter and this is to two decimal uh, place. Let's have a look at uh, part B of this question. Part B of this question we are told we have the same information. Uh, state the reason why the mercury uh, thread did not fall out in figure 3B. So the, this is the mercury thread uh, after overturning the the column it not did not fall and the reason is the, uh, the pressure acting upwards the pressure acting upwards that way that is a uh, pressure uh, we write the pressure acting upwards upward on the mercury thread is greater than is greater than the downward pressure pressure due to air column So if we say this is P, P uh, we can, uh, can uh, write it like this. If we say this is uh, our, our P1 acting upwards and this is our P2 acting downwards. So P1 is uh, greater than P2. So that's how you answer that and you'll be able to get uh, that one mark.